Hello everybody, welcome to IZDET DWF Repair Bench. Today I just received this uh, nice package and inside we have a brand new old stock um, 1571 head replacement this is double side uh, magnetic uh, drive uh, head and it is uh, uh, an exact replacement for the 1571 the Commodore 1571 had uh, read right head so a fine uh, member of the vintage computer forum uh, had uh, a few of the, this uh, new stock replacement heads and uh, sold one to me for a very reasonable price and so you may remember I had uh, 1571 with uh, broken head and so let's try to substitute this new uh, head and see what happens on the 1571 uh, when removing uh, the head assembly just pay attention uh, to first remove this screw and this piece of uh, metal because it will uh, allow to assemble back everything together more easily so this piece has to go first then these two screws and uh, the part the superior part of the assembly then to free the rails there is this screw and this one too so let's remove these two screws and see if I can free the rails and uh, uh, get the old head out of the rails. Okay, once the, you remove these two screws, the rails uh, can come off. And what remains is the these, uh, steel band which is attached uh, to the side of the head with these two plastic pins but uh, the, the steel band can uh, move it out, out of the pins hopefully after this the head will come off completely yes indeed the head is now free uh, just be careful to gently remove the pins from the band not to bend the <laughs> sorry for the pun uh, the the steel uh, uh, band um, anyway it sounds similar in English I don't know mm, then I can remove the old head assembly and put in place the new one. Uh, of course you have to cut uh, tie plastic tie wrap which is secure the um, conductors to this place uh, I will replace this tie wrap uh, later I replaced the both the rails of course when uh, you do this operation take the time to completely clean uh, both the rails and add a drop of oil and then I carefully replace the, the band, the, the steel band uh, in, inside the pins, the two plastic pins so now I will put back this uh, final place uh, and the drive can be tested okay, big problem can you see the difference? This is the old head assembly and this is the new the, the part the plastic part that goes inside the, the track one sensor is completely broken off, it's missing. 
that been uh, I've uh, not been able to find uh, the missing piece inside the uh, the shipping box so I was probably snapped uh, at the origin bad luck bad luck so I'm not sure what to do uh, break uh, <laughs> this part but substituting uh, the head in this uh, assembly is uh, not viable because it's uh, there is lots of epoxy keeping together the actual uh, cables everything the head themselves also this uh, it is broken uh, this um, this head assembly is also broken So my best option uh, is trying to transplant this part for well, not really a lucky situation I guess not really lucky situation let's see what I can invent so here's, uh, here's my plan I cut the original well, I don't lose it and the original um, part that goes inside the track one sensor and since it seems the only problem is to make this uh, surface flush with the end uh, the rear surface I mean uh, must be flush with the rear part of the um, of the head assembly so I'll try to make uh, uh, with a file a platform uh, to for this piece to be glued on the original on the new um, head assembly and since this has no mechanical stress no nothing it just interrupts uh, a light uh, LED beam light beam at the right moment so it doesn't touch anything uh, it's, uh, li it leaves uh, floating in the air so uh, if I can uh, glue back in the right spot it should work that's my assumption at least it's let's see if uh, if I'm lucky so here's how it looks like uh, after I glued back the two pieces the tricky part is measure the right height of the tab with a caliper file the two parts fla as flat as possible and then try to glue the two parts back together I've used um, gel type uh, uh, acrylic uh, glue because I um, thought that the liquid uh, glue would be uh, much more difficult uh, to um, hold in place the two parts uh, and also I could have used a uh, fast curing epoxy but that's a bit too fast probably um, so I will leave a few hours uh, or well even uh, <laughs> more hours to, to cure the the glue and uh, assemble the his head back and see if it goes uh, where it's supposed to go I will probably remove the excess glue on this side uh, if it contacts with the uh, the band the the steel band that uh, moves the head well we'll see later when it is cured completely so okay it took two attempts to make uh, the, this uh, repair uh, right because the tab uh, has to be at the right height, not too high, otherwise it will stop 
before entering or too or too low because it will uh, uh, stop in other places so um, there are three keys to make uh, first uh, attempt too high it was slightly too high so I just remove it file it again the two pieces uh, and then glue it back and now it goes right inside the sensor so it's time to assemble uh, everything again and see if it works as expected okay finally assembled back everything together and finally with a floppy to understand if the head lifting mechanism is working and seems uh, all is fine and so I will connect uh, C64 and uh, make some tests this is usually my last test for matting a double side uh, disc um, this is the side number one being formatted now writing the directory and uh, it worked so this is the result of uh, formatting a random disc and all okay so this one uh, is required uh, with some effort uh, transplanting the track uh, one uh, tab uh, for, for the sensor I wrote to the seller of this uh, new old stock head and uh, he didn't notice too and I believe because I had uh, the broken head uh, under my eyes uh, for so long time before realizing it was missing a piece but anyway it was possible to fix uh, this uh, 1571 so thank you for watching